Fermat's Last Theorem, The Geometric Proof. My motto, plain honesty, simple truth, easy understanding. Take a Euclidean plane. Make two axes marked XX at right angles to each other on the plane. Insert the bisector of the right angle and identify as x squared. Insert the curves x to the power n minus 1 coincident with both x axes. Insert rectangles of area x to the power n equals x times x to the power n minus 1. Complete the square. Rearrange the square. Voila! The quarter squares rule. The quarter squares rule. We can easily see, without any great mathematical acumen, that the side of the larger square has dimension x to the power n minus 1 plus x, and that of the inner square dimension x to the power n minus 1 minus x, separated by four rectangles of dimension x to the power n minus 1 times x. Hence, x to the power n minus 1 plus x all squared minus x to the power n minus 1 minus x all squared equals 4 times x to the power n minus 1 times x equals 4 times x to the power n. Simplify. x to the power n minus 1 plus x all divided by 2 all squared minus x to the power n minus 1 minus x all divided by 2 all squared equals x to the power n. Therefore, a divided by 2 squared minus b divided by 2 squared equals x to the n, the simpleton proof, QED. I have repeatedly stated that the equation is not a rule but a theorem, as per Euclid's element, book 2, proposition 8. quarter squares rule was also derived by Leonard Euler in his Elementary Algebra, Book 2, page 324, published in 1770. Why Leonard Euler did not see his Elementary Algebra as a proof of Fermat's last theorem, I cannot say. Perhaps a case of not seeing the wood because of the streets. Despite the simplicity of the graph, it is self-evident that it is applicable to every x raised to every power n greater than 1, proof to infinity. Since each power x to the power n equals x to the power n minus 1 times x is present as a curve of degree n minus 1, it is testament to the fact that the infinitesimal rate of change of all power curves is given by a times x to the power n minus 1 and only ever equals x to the power n at one point, which is when a equals x.